when I'm in their bag. I won't see I, I won't see you move and get all into your groove. I say get up. A look at tonight's starting lineups. They are presented by McDonald's. And, Doug, the question is, who will Houston put on Kobe Bryant, at least for this game one? Well, I think they'll start with Shane Battier on him. I, I look for our test to be matched up against the reason. But really the big matchup, Kevin, is Andrew Bynum back in the starting lineup. Uh, they were able to drop off that power forward Scola, and as a result, he made a lot of baskets in that series. Uh, the Lakers really don't use that kind of scheme. So we'll see how this plays out here tonight. And, and Yao Ming... Uh, can he dominate it down on that low post? The Houston Rockets took on the Portland Trail Blazers in round one and won four games to two. Game is they go inside to Yao, hit by Bynum. He was doubled by Ariza. The shot clock is down to six. Kobe is on Brooks on the switch, and Yao goes over Bynum with the whistle inside. Two seconds was remaining on the shot clock. With the ball goes side to side and catch the ball on the move. And he's a great free throw shooter. So anytime you foul him shooting a jump shot, it really plays into what they want to do now with the Rockets this season. They want the game mid-90s and under. The Lakers want to push the tempo. So let's see if the uh, Rocket, he takes the shot uh, to disrupt his rhythm and his vision. Yeah, they don't double over Bynum. And Yao Ming hits his first shot tonight. He's got four. He's got that little jump. Clock is down to seven. Now they double him with Odom. Moving the ball well. This is what Rick Adelman told us before the game they had to do. Bryant is on the chest. And Yao tips it in inside. Yao is, are they going to get that three or five away from that open floor? Here's Odom over our chest. And Yao chases down the loose ball. Fifth rebound from the shots. On a 6 nothing run right now. This is a three by Kobe Bryant. The close by Battier. The rebound by Gasol. And the rejection by Yao inside. Here is Barry finding Yao Ming, picked up by Bynum. Will they double? They do with Ariza. Yao with a beautiful fadeaway shot. He's played 12 minutes. He's got six points. This is where we have to handle the pressure and make sure you get good shots. With the shot clock at 10, it's Yao. Got great position on Gasol. That was it. Took the leap inside the paint. Slams a ball and a fresh shot clock with which to work. Well, the energy here to start this uh, third period is in favor of the Rockets. Uh, Yao Ming was upset that he had missed that uh, easier. Six and a half to play in the third. Ron Artest picked up by Ariza. Yao over by Yao Ming with a great looking shot. He's got 14. I have 15 points. He's only gotten to the line one time. Seven in this third quarter for Kobe Bryant battling flu like symptoms. The quick double on Yao. He saw him do this in round one and he just spins around and drops a sledgehammer. Lowry looking in, and here's Gasol watching Yao Ming. Foul inside. I think Gasol picked. A little head fake that time by Yao Ming, and Gasol sort of straight leg did not get over. Vujicic was trying to come on the baseline. He got the foul. And one of the things about Yao Ming is he's a great free throw shooter, so you can foster has both the uh, uh, Warned both of them to sort of comment to get his body and strength on him. You know, there's some history between those two guys. Here is Yao. Gasol the close. Yao with two. He's played 34 minutes. Yao's got 10 rebounds. Your 7 6 center can step out and knock down a long jump wow. shot. What a luxury. Hit the free throws the way he does. Here's Gasol and Yao. Clear out. Powers free attack. Look at the defense again. The Yao! rebound by Odom. Yao with the puck inside. There is a Houston foul. To get a shot at the end of the clock. Five seconds to go and you get a layup. Charging inside the triple team. Bryant. Yao is down. Gasol finishes off. And holding his knee, as you can see, that is not a good sign if you're a Rocket fan. It's a, any kind of knee injury when you've had one. Kobe was driving and looked like hit Kobe's left knee hit Yao's right. Yep, went down. I think Gasol picked it up. The basket by Ooh. Gasol. Yep, right there. Good wow. job by our camera people. Moments ago, this is what we saw in the tunnel. He was shaking his head and telling Keith Jones, their athletic trainer, I want to go back out there. Keith Jones is saying, hey, let's go back in the locker room. Let's take a quick look at it. He's telling him, I, I got to see, can you bend down? Can you, can you, can you push off? Look, Keith Jones, can you push off your leg? And you're going to see Yao Ming bend over, try to push off, and then go over to the wall, try to get that thing moved. Can you can you run in place? You see Keith Jones and 
This is a proud, proud guy. He knows the importance of this game. You see him working this leg. Saw very similar footage with Kevin Garnett in Utah. We sure did, Doug. Our, our tremendous camera we crew sure was did. back there and captured it all when Kevin Garnett hurt his knee that night against Utah and Yao Ming walking back out to the floor. He's on the bench right now. We'll see if uh, he's going to be able to get back into this ball game. Our test with 19, Ariza Ingasol. Yao, over on up this. Yao Ming puts it in from outside with his 22nd point. I think this guy's a competitor. LA only two of 14 shooting threes. Here's a three by Ariza. Guarded by the close of Scola. There is a whistle inside. It is a foul. It is on Los Angeles, and it goes on to Saul for the fourth time. Well, before Yao. Rockets having a 64% shooting fourth quarter, but they have had the seven turnovers. All right. And the Lakers took the lead, battling back. They're stepping up, making their free throws. They've switched. Saul. Step in front of Yao. Brooks got it back. Yao with a spin inside and a foul on Los Angeles. And it comes. Wow. That ball was knocked loose by Gasol. Look at him dig down in the post, get this ball, find his teammate Yao Ming. Remember I talked about Yao Ming's free throw shooting, the importance of your big man being able to go to the line and knock those. The Rockets can make their free throws. They've got a great chance to break through. And how about this? We could have tonight two road teams Portland in the first round. They went in and won game one tonight. They're on the precipice here. Leads yeah. off. So very, very careful. you got to be here now. Very smart play here to get the ball into Yao Ming, who's their best free throw shooter. And if the Rockets make free Doug, the Rockets have which they're in the midst of right now. And Brooks ahead to Lowry. That'll do it. That'll seal a Houston Rocket win. The road team is won again on the opposing floor for the second time tonight in game ones in each conference's semifinal. Well, the Rockets have to feel good about this win, but this is when you get greedy because you know the Lakers are going to be coming back Wednesday night, Kevin. You and I will be here. They'll be hungrier. They'll play with more intensity. And the Rockets, uh, we'll see what they can come with in game two. And I think Yao Ming, uh, thankfully, he's standing up over emotional fourth quarter. What happened on the injury, and how were you able to get yourself right to get back in this game? Well, actually, that injury is really not that hurt. But when, when the moment I get hit, that was feel pretty bad. But I know I'm fine. You know, just need to walk around a little bit and let it sore go away, and I can walk, I can come back to the game. You said you knew you were fine, but you're like tear-eyed back there trying to stretch it out. The training staff said, "Hey, he missed six weeks with this knee injury in the right." Somewhere you had to be thinking, oh, no, here I go again, didn't you? No, no, don't, don't, don't take it don't do that way. Take it that way. That was, that would be scare me. Well, you certainly gave everybody a scare, particularly the Rocket fans. But how were you able to come back and put this team away after losing four games of the regular season in the fourth quarter? Uh, I, I think, you know, we, we are hungry to win, particularly the first game. Like we, like we had in the first round, you know, we didn't set tone for the entire series. We know we have to respect them, come back as strong as the game too. But you know, tonight, tonight we really play proud of our teammate, for, for all the players. Kobe Bryant got his 30 points. We had to take over 30 shots to get them. Is this the type of defense that we can win this series, or do you have to play better? I mean, our defense. Uh, you have to give our, uh, our two best uh, perimeter defender credit, uh, Sean Battier and Ron Tass did a incredible job on guarding Kobe. You know, obviously, obviously we need a, you know, we need to put more effort in there in game two. But you know, tonight they did a great job on there. A great game. Glad to see you back on your feet. And good luck. I hope it doesn't swell up tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Yao had 28 points and 10 rebounds. Our test had 21. Brooks had 19. 48% shooting for the Rockets. Doug, it was a good win on the road.